meet you to meet you as well. It's curious how is summer league practice going so um it's it's been amazing. I think we have a highly competitive group, a really talented group. And you just it's amazing how guys are already coming together, playing the right way. I think I think we got a lot of good, a lot of talent. We we got a lot of mature guys, so a lot of mix of the right mix, I feel like. So it'll be good. You had some opportunities and chose Phoenix over there. What about the Sun situation stood out to you and made it attractive to you? Um, just the opportunity to, you know, be in a great city, being a great organization. Um, the the opportunity to make an impact and can hopefully contribute on the NBA floor in year one. So as an opportunity, it's kind of hard to pass up. Going into summer league, what's kind of your approach and what are you looking to show? Um, I'm trying to be myself, you know, just utility guy, just doing the right things, helping helping my team win, whether that's making a shot, diving on the floor, playing defense, getting rebounds, chasing down loose balls, whatever that is, is what I'm looking to do for us. I've kind of been in other conversations leading the coaching staff about mm -hmm. just expectations for the group in the summer league. Um, we just want to compete to the best of our ability. We're not like if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. All, all we care about is we compete. We carry ourselves the right way and play with that competitive fire. And anyone, take care of itself. Anyone kind of stick out to you in practice so far? Teammate wise? Um. Not necessarily, but a lot of people had questions about Ryan shooting, and I I feel like he answered those questions really well. Knocking them down. You knocking them down, yeah. <laughs> what What has it been like being able to kind of lean on Oso and Ryan as y'all kind of forge this new path uh, all together here? No, nah, it's it's awesome to have guys alongside you, like you said, not being alone with this because it's a whole new world, whole new lifestyle for all three of us, and it's just special to have two guys that I can lean on that are great people, even they're, they're great basketball players, but they're even better humans. So that's a great feeling to have that I can call those guys my brothers. So much work went into to getting to this point. But does it, I mean, just sitting here kind of make it feel official that this is the NBA? Yeah, it, I still don't think it's kind of hit me yet. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm blessed, man. Coming from where I come from, Fairmont, West Virginia is, West Virginia is like the most impoverished state in the country, and a lot of people get stuck there. And it's just, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't trying to go back to where I came from. And just to be sitting here with this logo behind me, it's, it's just shows that all my hard work, all my sweat, blood, and tears, it all, it all meant something. It was all worth it. In terms of that journey, I was talking to Coach Drew, and he was talking about the way that you guys bonded mm -hmm. over the How did that and your experience at Baylor kind of shaped the player and the person that you had? Um, I'm I'm forever grateful for Coach Drew. Like you said, he helped me find Christ. Um, not that I didn't have Christ in my life before. I was kind of lost, kind of disconnected with my faith. Um, and then I ended up transferring to Baylor, and I honestly don't think I could have went to a better place to reconnect spiritually. And you know, Coach Drew always says like, if he doesn't, he didn't really care about winning basketball games. His main goal is to see us all in heaven one day when he when we all are no longer on this earth and. And that's what he said will be a job complete to him. So I'm forever grateful. He changed my life. I would not be here without him. When you look at the NBA now, three and D wings are kind of mm -hmm. a high priority. How do you feel that your game can translate to that next level? Um, I I know what I am. I'm very self aware. Um, I I'm not one of the guys that is going to get paid to you know take all the shots. I'm more so a guy that's there that's out there to make life easy on the Durants, the Bills, the Bookers. You know, I'm I feel like I'm a connector piece, like you said, three and D. But I I feel like that's putting myself to a box. I feel like I do a lot more than just shoot and play defense. I'm curious, do you watch any players growing up or kind of mold your game after anybody in particular? I mean, I ain't really mold my game after them, but it's crazy. Like it's like full circle moment because Kevin Durant's like who I consider the greatest basketball player ever, and now I'm on his team. So it's kind of it's crazy. Yeah, life's crazy. <laughs>